हाई गाइज वेलकम टू ए पी एम हेक्साकॉप्टर बिल्डिंग सीरीज दिस इज माई होम मेड हेक्साकॉप्टर विद ए पी एम टू पॉइंट एट विल बी अपलोडिंग टू पार्ट इन दिस वीडियो आई बी शोइंग हाउ यू कैन मेक योर ओन हेक्साकॉप्टर फ्रेम एंड इन नेक्स्ट टूटोरियल आई बी असेंबलिंग ऑल द कॉम्पोनेंट्स एंड द सॉफ्टवेयर कॉन्फिग्रेशन Before starting this video, if you have not come across our APM 2.8 quadcopter building series, you can check out that link in the description box. So let's get started with today's video. I'll be making a hexagon. of side 8.5 cm on a paper I have selected these wood pieces of thickness 5 mm for the main body I trace this hexagon on both wooden sheets for making the arms i am using this c channel aluminum which i bought from a hardware shop in this all the three sides are 10 mm i'll be making it into six pieces of each 28 cm for six arms here one side will go into the frame body and on the other side will be attaching the motors i am using this normal 1000 kv brushless motor first we have to take the dimension of this bracket on the aluminum bars I have done the markings on all of them. Now I'll drill a 3 mm hole. These are 3 mm, 1.5 inches bolt and nuts, which I'll be using for attaching the motor brackets.
Here I am drawing a 4 cm circle on the base plate, leaving the space for power distribution board at the center. Surrounding this circle, we will be mounting the arms. To attach the arms on the body, I am drilling 3mm holes at 1 and 3 cm. I'll be also making 3mm holes at the same length on this as well. These are 3 mm 2 inches nuts and bolts which I'll be using to attach the arms to the frame body. On this, I am also adding one more layer to place the flight controller. So here is the forward direction and we will be placing it this way. Under this, we will place the battery and flight controller will be coming on top of this. Here also, I am making 3mm holes. And I will be using 3mm 3 inches bolt and nuts to mount this plate. And finally, our frame is ready. So I would highly recommend you guys to try this out instead of buying the frames which are available online. And also let me know in the comment section below how this frame is looking.
if you have any doubts let me know and in my coming tutorial we'll be assembling the components and also i'll be showing you how you can configure the apm thank you for watching this video guys i'll see you in the next tutorial